Sunday I just did some morning yoga as you just saw and now I'm going to drink my water and then I'm going to head over to church obviously I'm gonna put some clothes on before I go but yes I'm not sure what I'm doing today but I don't have too much to do so I thought I would take you all around with me so hopefully I do something exciting ever since I talked to you last I've been doing pretty well nothing too exciting has happened but I did get a plan if you haven't noticed already um, I don't have a name for him, so that's still in the works, but I'm very excited. Oh, also, so if any of you don't live in Miami and don't know, it's mango season right now, and there are tons of mango trees everywhere. I'm not even kidding, like when I bike to school, I pass like at least 10 different mango trees. And just one day, biking to school and back, I got five mangoes. I was like, yes, free mangoes. And I cut one open yesterday for the first time, one of the street mangoes that just like grew to complete ripeness on the tree. And I swear it was the best mango I've had in my life. But anyways, side tangent, I'm going to put my basket on my bike today on the way to church and I'm going to see if I can get any mangoes. So yeah, I have to leave in a few minutes. So I'm kind of actually in a rush. So I'm just going to drink this really quickly, change my clothes, and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm on my bike and ready to go out the door. Okay, this mango tree that we're coming up to is like the biggest one and can you see all of those mangoes it's like ridiculous I want them all and there's another one right there and another one right here this one is perfect that one is not this one is under a car should I get it I'd say six is probably good. Okay, so I'm biking home from church now, but I actually think I'm just gonna stop at the grocery store first because it's on the way home and I'm obviously gonna eat some mangoes for breakfast and I don't have any more limes and I kinda wanna have a lime with a mango and I need some rice and a cucumber too. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm also gonna get some unsweetened coconut milk to make a sticky rice pudding with some of my mangoes. But I always get the box one instead of the canned one because it's lower in fat. Okay guys, I was really hungry so I didn't feel like going through the effort of filling my breakfast but I'm gonna show you right now and I am so excited. Obviously I'm having another mango bowl and look how pretty and bright it is. Like I still can't get over that color. So I'll tell you guys what's in this. So I blended three frozen bananas with a huge fresh mango. It was one of the ones I got today. It had a little nick in it, so I decided to use that one so it like, didn't go bad. Mmm, it's so good. Look how creamy it is, like, oh my god. <sighs> okay, anyways, rest of the recipe. Then I added the juice of a lime, and I have like two little ones there that I'm going to sprinkle on top as I go through it. Then I added some caramelized bikinis on top for a little crunch, and I actually added some fresh chopped basil on top. And you might think that's really weird, and like basil only goes with savory foods, but basil and mango actually go really well together, so don't knock it till you try it. So I'm going to eat this, 
and then I'll catch up with you guys later. What's up guys? I just cleaned my entire apartment and it feels so good. You know, sometimes you just don't want to clean something, but then when you finally get down to it and everything looks so sparkly and shiny and new, but yeah, I like went into it. I cleaned and swept the entire downstairs. I cleaned the kitchen counters. I put my next batch of kombucha into the fridge. Then I cleaned my entire bathroom. Then I cleaned and swept my entire floor of my room. I watered my plants. And then I cleaned off the screens of my laptop, my phone, and I cleaned the surface of my desk. And I thought I would share with you guys how I actually do all of my cleaning because a lot of conventional cleaning items are absolutely horrible for you because they're full of toxic chemicals. And when you think about it, when you're cleaning, that is absorbing into your skin as well. And your skin is your largest organ. So yes, people can survive their whole lives while using these chemicals, but I just prefer not to. And then also they're probably like tested on animals or not vegan and they're just not natural. So I prefer not to use them. So here's what I use. So I basically just use these two things. So this first is just plain old distilled vinegar. And this works really well for cleaning off surfaces and making them shiny again. So you can use this on your mirrors instead of Windex. And you can use it on surfaces like your phone or your desk and it evaporates. And it smells like vinegar, obviously, when you put it onto the surface, but it evaporates really fast and then the scent goes away. Then for things that need more of a deep clean or a little grimier like my bathroom, I use this soap. Many of you have probably heard of it before. It's Dr. Bronner's and this is just the almond soap. It's a pure Castile soap and there's like 18 different uses for it. But this soap is really natural, just contains like oils basically and some fragrance, natural fragrance. And it's all fair trade, which is also really awesome. And it's a very concentrated soap. So I actually use this in the shower on my body as well. But for cleaning, I bought this glass spray bottle off of Amazon. It comes in a set of two. I'll put the link in the description of this video if anyone is interested as well as this soap as well. Um, but you just dilute it with water. So depending on what you're using it for, you dilute it to certain degrees. And I can also link below, there's a helpful website that tells you how much you should dilute it by. So for example, I use this bottle to clean my toilet and it's like a four to one ratio to clean the inside of your toilet. But you dilute it a little more if you're just like cleaning a countertop or something. So yeah, vegan cleaning supplies. How fun. All right, so it's about 11.30 right now. I'm not hungry or anything, but I'm just going to drink some more water and then I will probably answer a few emails and work on some homework and I will check in with you guys at lunchtime. Okay, so I'm currently making a giant salad for my lunch. I have this really big bowl of mixed greens and then I have some shredded carrots, raw corn, and cucumber. And I'm gonna make a dressing with this mango that I got this morning. And I think I'm going to add some tahini to it and I'll probably chop up some fresh basil and put that in the salad as well. And I might add some sriracha just to make it a little spicy. pancakes for dinner because it's Sunday and because I can and because I can use a mango up as well. seen on a cutting board because I actually don't really have any tiny plates so afterwards that's obviously not possible to eat like that so I plopped the pancakes in a bowl and that's how I'm gonna eat them and if any of you were curious I didn't top them with maple syrup I used blueberry syrup it's this organic blueberry syrup and it's just made from like blueberry juice and cane sugar it's super cool but yeah let's do a taste test solid. I also wanted to tell you guys that if you ever see a food blogger post a picture of their pancakes, 
I guarantee that 100% of the time they ate them cold. There's no way you can keep your pancakes warm for that long, but it's fine because I don't really mind cold pancakes and it still makes a pretty picture. I mean, I guess they don't look too bad once they're in the bowl. But yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna finish these pancakes and then I'm going to sign off with you all for the rest of the evening just to relax a little before the school week starts and decompress. But yes, I hope you all have been having beautiful days so far, whatever time of the day that you're watching this. And I hope you've enjoyed all of this mango madness. So moral of the story is, if you're in Miami, it is very easy to get free mangoes. So you should all come to Miami and visit me. <laughs> okay guys, I will talk to you later. And I guess that's it. Goodbye.